legend where Kate in Tennessee seemed to be seemed to favor Mrs. Bell. It was always nice to her. And here's my opinion on it. You know what to say about opinions, but I'll give you my anyway. I don't feel that Kate, the Bell Witch of Tennessee, or Gardner, the Bell Witch of Mississippi, either one, I don't feel that they liked anybody, and I don't feel that they were being nice to anybody. I do feel that if they were really what they people thought they were, according to the legend, they would attack people going through what's called the path of least resistance. Whatever is the easiest way to get at somebody. Some people are stronger mentally, some people are stronger physically. Okay, we have, let's take for example, Betsy Bell. Okay, she was preteen and, pre and then a teenager when all this was going on. Okay, she went to school and all that. You know, had a pretty good mind on her. But do you think at that age she was necessarily physically strong? I doubt it. So she was attacked physically. Same for John Bell with his age and the conditions and stuff he had. I'm sure, plus his ability to conduct business really well, I would say he was pretty strong mentally still, but physically he wasn't that well off, so he was an easy target. Now let's look at Mrs. Bell. Mrs. Lucy Bell gave birth to nine children. Back in the days, there were no pain pills, there were no epidurals or nothing. We're talking about a completely natural childbirth, no, nothing for the pain or anything, nine times. In my opinion, Mrs. Bell was the strongest member of that family. So the only way Kate could get at her is through her mind. And, and, that's, and that's what she did. By pretending to be Mrs. Bell's friend, by singing her songs, by bringing her food while she was sick, and by making her watch her husband and daughter get beaten to a pulp every night. <laughs> that really messes with somebody's mind. I, don't, I thought it was very cruel.